it's too tempting. When are you going to take those back to the post office? Yeah, I am. Hey! Ah! No! No! Oh, no! Give no. me that! Oh, you ripped it! Lee May! Shame on you. Don't be so childish, I'm trying to study. Just take your stupid letters and get lost. She may have done it. If you don't leave, I will. <gasps> oh my gosh. What? Hey, Maya, are you coming? Oh, are you kidding? I really want to read this. Well, Donna's leaving tonight. I thought we were going to go get her a little gift. Yeah, but you don't need me, do you? I'm useless at shopping. Yeah, all right then. I'll see you. Okay. Come on, what is it say? All right. Dear Frank, once again, it's time for another Maybe Family Update. Oh, <laughs> better make yourself comfy. Wow, so much has happened since I talked to you last. Well, thanks for coming in anyway. Yeah, see ya. Hi, it's Andy, right? Yeah, hi. Hi, Shannon. Look, about the job. I've had cooking experience. Three years. I've got references. Well, that's great. But the thing is, I can't make any promises as to how long the job will last. You see, my business partner, he's a chef, and he's on leave at the moment, but he could come back any time. And then there won't be a job. Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah. But I do need someone right now, temporarily. But you can't cook anything new. <laughs> is this a joke? You wanted some information? Oh, I got some. Is that right? A mate of mine at the Northerner just rang. Apparently, they're running a follow-up story on Jeff's murder in tomorrow's edition. Good to be forewarned for once, thanks, Doc. Well, I reckon it's time to fight back. Hit the media on their own turf. How? By generating some positive publicity for the unit. Look, I've checked our schedules, and with a bit of juggling, we can do more than our quota of waiting list cases. DHB would love us. And they'd sure let the papers know about it. More to be happy, and Shorten Street would end up with a great big shiny halo. Wouldn't that make for a change? I'd have to look at these juggled schedules, make sure it's feasible. It'll be on your desk this afternoon. It is a good idea. So what's in it for him? Oh, here we go. Dominic never does anything without an agenda. And we know what it is. To reverse the negative publicity. Yeah, which he created. You can't keep saying that. You haven't got any proof. Then I'll get some. I want a complete staff internet audit. You've already put them Just all through it. Just do it, mate. To get off her back, Anna. I'm not on her back. You've made it pretty clear you think Donna's running out of me. Well, she is. She's heading off to start a new life for us. And I'm grateful to her. Ugh, what? Well, how much of a career do you think I'll have left here when all this is over? Plenty. You're innocent? Yeah, that's not going to make any difference. Doors will be slamming all over town. I'm just lucky Chris is on my side now. Yeah, but you've got the DHP as well. Well, they're fulfilling their legal obligations. But you wait till my contract expires. I tell you, I'm glad Donna's going. At least I'll have somewhere to run to. Sorry to scoff and run. Now, Tasha's present. She's leaving tonight. I can hardly believe it. Ah, oh, what the hell. Go mad. See you, sweetheart. So, I'm sorry if I've wasted your time, but that's just the way it is. The job's only there for as long as it's there. Sounds good to me. Really? Oh, I've been in your situation. Me and the wife owned a cafe down south, and when we broke up, we had to sell. It was either that or drive the place into the ground. Ugly business. Yeah, except me and Tama haven't broken up. We're just spending some time apart to sort things out. Right. Which is why you'd have to stick to his menu. I reckon I could manage that. So you still want the job? Yeah. Great, well, when can we start? If you want to see a doctor, you have to fill out one of these forms with all your details, OK? Just follow the signs. It's getting worse out here instead of better. Yeah. Look, um, I'm going to go to and see if we can sort this out. No, I'm sorry. Uh, get a list of names and complaints and start prioritising the names on top of those who are actually sick and injured. Can we just get okay. to doctor? Looks like food season again. Yeah, something like that. Look, I'm right. staying Good up afternoon. here to try and sort out the uh, backlog. Uh, you did be fine without me. Thanks, Judy. Look, I, I just wanted to... That was another nuisance call. Third one today, but don't worry. I'm giving them the short shrift. 
Anyway, as I was saying, uh, thanks for your support. I know how easy it would be to let Mayhem take over just to prove a point. Mm. Yes, That's well, what you have. In spite of your own feelings about Victor, you've been thoroughly professional. Uh, uh, no, look, I, I need to get on with this. Uh, yeah, I'll go help out Need you. United we stand and all that. Mm. Dennis's hernia operation went well, thank God. Oh, I'll sleep better knowing that. <laughs> yeah, me too. And baby Bruce... Who would name their kid that? Uh, Tamsin Maybury. <laughs> Figures. According to this, she's a right piece of work. Anyway, baby B's got his first teeth. Mm. Oh, and his height and weight's off the scale. Everyone's chuffed theirs. Oh, I want a photo. I want to see baby Brucey. There is something seriously wrong with you, Joe. It's called a fun disease. You would have been immunised at birth. <gasps> yes, a photo! And it's got names on the back. Oh, you hit the jackpot with that one, girl. Ah, oh, the Mayberries. Our new best friends. <laughs> oh, what? No baby Bruce. Yeah, I bet you that's his mum there. Yeah, that's Tamsin. <laughs> Look at him, baggage. So, do you want to go to the dogs for lunch or where do you want to go? Here, don't you? Right. Yeah, complete rat. You never said a word. Well, I couldn't. I was on a promise. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> couldn't let you go without a send off. You're one of us. You sure are. And we're gonna miss you so much. I'll miss you too. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like it's gonna be forever. And you'll keep in touch, won't you? Emails and stuff. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will. Uh, I can't stay. We're flat out. As always. But I, I wanted to wish you well. I think it's a fine thing you're doing for Tash. Well, thanks, Judy. And, you know, um, go easy on Vic. You know, no matter what you might think of him, he didn't do this. Take care. <laughs> you too. See ya. See ya. Nick. Nick! No, no, please don't. Wait, this is exactly how I want to remember Nick Harrison. Totally in his element. <laughs> Cheers, <Vicar. laughs> Please, guys, get a mic sit. Dig in. Hmm. When I came here, you were such a good friend. I hope you're going away, good friend. Yeah, I'd like that. I'll look after the big fella for you. I'll put him on a plane to you as soon as safe and sound, I promise. Yes, please. Yeah. You okay? I should smack you for this. Well, I'm guessing that means you're happy then. No. Yeah. And sadder than I've been in my whole life. Go and get me some deep before I totally embarrass myself. 